Hi and welcome to part 3 of the Modeling a Monkey tutorial in Blender 2.5. Okay, so we've modeled out the basics of the monkey at the moment and we can see that while I'm in object mode I can now right click on either of the two objects, so the head or the body, um, so they remain separate. So it's possible to move those apart without affecting the other one. So I'll just undo that. I forget Command Z undoes and uh, shift command Z is a redo function. I'm going to click on the body and I'm going to enter edit mode from this menu down here. Okay, so here we go, edit mode. So remember that edit mode lets us alter the shape of objects within the mesh. Okay, so here's our body and we can see at the moment that um, it's fairly basic but we're going to be able to add some shape to it now. So the first thing that I'm going to do is we can see that by I'm in face select mode, I can select individual faces and I can start to grab those faces and I can start to sculpt them. So just manipulating the body to the right angle so I can see what I'm doing. Um, but not all functions, you're going to find that the face mode is the ideal tool. Some things it's going to be a bit average. So in the case of this body, I'm going to, first I'm going to go down here to the edge selector I'm just going to select that now. I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to select one side of the hips and rotate the model around. And then holding down shift and right click, I'm going to select both sides of the hips there. What I'm going to do is scale these out so that the hips tend to flow a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is do a scale. So I hit S for scale and I start dragging out and you can see as I drag out that actually the hips are, are scaling in all directions. I really only want to scale them along the axis of the hips so if I just hit the X button you'll see that it only scales on the X, X axis. If I hit the Y button now it's only scaling on the Y axis. Okay, So Y axis is what I want in this case so I just pull the hips out so that these lines aren't quite touching the edges. So somewhere about there is fine, that's good. Okay, and I'm going to do exactly the same manoeuvre up under the armpits here. So I'm going to drag these out so I can give the chest of the monkey a little bit more definition and size. So I'm going to hit S for scale, Y for the direction, only pressing it once. Then I'm going to start to pull it out here. So you can see that it's starting to widen the chest. Okay, and now we can do the same manoeuvre on faces. So I'm going to select one face, which is... So let's just get the right one here, hold down shift and select this side, hit scale, hit your direction Y and then I can start to widen the body out here. Okay, so that's getting a bit better. Um, and then we can start to use our other tool, so I'm going to use, in this case I'm going to use the edge selector to pull the chest out a little bit more. Edge selector on this one, just to pull it out. Oops, I think that's gone a bit crazy. I'll just select this one instead. You have to be a little bit careful about selecting the right vertices as you go along. And his back is a little bit basic here. I'm going to say select the face selector and I'm going to pull out the top of his back there so he's got a little bit sort of more muscle. Okay, that's good. He's a little bit chunky, but that's not too bad. Okay, so you can see here just by... Um, using the sculpt tools we can start to add a little bit more realism and shape to our monkey. I won't go too in depth with shaping in this tutorial um, but we'll just push things a little bit further. So let's add in some basic feet here. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to extrude. So we can extrude out and, um, and then we can push down Okay, so when we do extrude, we can extrude out holding down our control so that it clicks out one. That's good. Okay, so that's one foot. I'm going to extrude the same, holding down control, one click out. Okay, so we've got a, a fairly basic set of feet here. What we want to do though is they're a little bit rounded on the bottom. We want to flatten them on the bottom so that they will make contact with the ground a little bit better can do when we're working in edit mode you'll notice this menu over here called the tool shelf and you'll see there's a tool here called loop cut and slide I'm going to click on loop cut and slide 
bring it over to the model and you can see wherever I move it it gives me a pink line that tells me where the cut is going to be okay so I'm going to click on that line for a minute and I'm going to drag that down and I'm going to drag it right down to the floor and that's fine we can see that that's drag the foot down and I'm going to do the same on the other side so I'm just going to collect connect loop cut and slide and I'm just going to drag that down that's good okay so we can see there that both of those feet by by clicking and dragging down it's actually created a nice sharp break on the bottom of the floor okay that's fine so now I'm just going to grab my edge select tool and I'm going to reshape the fronts of those feet just a little bit so I'm going to push that down a little bit that's good and I might push down just where the ankles are a bit as well so we get a little bit more more shape there and if you want to you can shape out the back as well so I'm going to select the backs of the feet here and there's a little tiny face because I've done that loop cut okay so that just gives it a little bit of shape at the bottom okay so that's coming together nicely remember when you're modeling it's a good idea if you're um, when you're modeling the monkey keep it fairly cartoony you don't need to make things look too realistic okay that's good I'm just gonna look from the front now and I'm going to maybe scale down the hip area a little bit to make it look a little bit better and to do to do that I'm just going to box select the area hit B once that's good selects around the whole thing S for scale set my direction I can scale that in a little bit that's good okay now I'm just gonna do a bit of um, scaling here on the crutch we'll fix that in a second okay